Mike is hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, I I'm your host today uh, on air. My name is John. I just said the Havania and Rebecca. How are we today? Pretty oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've Exciting. already made a bad start, but hey ho, let's get on with it. Um, how about we play a song? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay. We'll have the man of the moment. Mr. Pharrell Williams with Happy when the song comes back. Yeah. Everyone loves that song, don't they? Because everyone's jolly and happy. Yeah. Hey, I remember when I first heard that song. It was in an advert. It was catchy. <laughs> yeah, I like that song. Yeah, it's a good song, isn't it? Well, here we go. Here it is. And that was Little Mix with Word Up, the official sport release song which kicks off on the 21st of February this Friday. As always with sport relief and comic relief, we have celebrities doing their bit. This year we've had Davina McCall on her seven day mission in which she, when she was running, cycling, swimming across the country raising money for sport relief. And then we've had Robbie Savage and Alan Shearer in the Battle of the Backsides, yes you heard that right, in their attempt to sit on 45,000 seats each at Wembley Stadium, and that's just to name a few. It's good to uh, see that Sport Relief are continuing to do their good work, isn't it? Yeah. How, how can they do that challenge, though, of like having like sit on all those seats? They would have to be like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, they did. I think it took like five days. Yeah, it took oh. a really long time, and... Yeah, mm. and the battle of the backsides as well. So it's a Do great name. Great to call job. It. Yeah. 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 How much money did they raise? Or don't don't you know? Um, I'm guessing we'll find out Friday on the show because they'll probably have the segment. But uh, I think sport relief and comic relief they do a good job of getting the balance between the entertainment, but also the seriousness of why they're raising money. I think they do a good job of doing that. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it now time for the competition, Rebecca? Ooh, yay, I love competitions. I hope you love competitions as well, because this one's going to be good. OK, how would you like to win a portable AM radio at any price? Well, it's going to be for free, and in order to enter, you need to answer this question correctly. Who wrote Frankenstein? Was it A, PZ Travers, B, Bram Stoker, or C, Mary Shelley? In order to enter the competition, please visit our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash aspire competition. That's facebook.com forward slash aspire competition and answer A, B or C in the comment box. Hope, hope you can enjoy it. <laughs> yep, okay. Do you want to remind them again of the options? Uh, the, you mean the answers? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, the answer A, PC Travers, B, Bram Stoker and C, Mary Shelley. Who wrote Frankenstein? Please comment A, B or C in the Facebook box below. And now coming up, we've got How Long Will I Love You by Ellie Goulding. Great, here we go. That was Ellie Goulding and now here's Anya with the news. Uh, no, sorry, not the news. What am I talking about? The weather and traffic update. Yeah, so to the weather in West England. Today is a dry but windy day with good spells of hazy sunshine, particularly across the eastern areas, making it feel pleasantly warm. However, cloudier and cooler towards the west, especially along the coastal areas. Thursday is going to be cloudy with 15 degrees, while Friday will bring some sun across large parts of the country. Uh, and to the traffic, there's a roadblock on Sway Road due to network management. There's also a delay on Ashley Road due to roadworks, which also can cause queuing traffic. There's a major traffic on the west towards Upper Brighton Road with an average speed of 6 miles per hour. You're up to date on Aspire Radio with me, Anya, reporting the traffic and weather. Next up is Rebecca with the news, but first, some music. Here's Dark Horse by Katy Perry. That was Get Lucky by Daft Punk. You will listen to Aspire Radio. That was such a catchy song, by the way. Now we're coming up is Pompeii with Bastille. So we just had three songs there. Katy Perry with Dark Horse, Daft Punk with Get Lucky, and Bastille with Pompeii. I think it's about time we said something. Here is the news with Rebecca. Okay, this is Aspire Roo News and at 1.26, I'm Rebecca. Experts have stated that the missing plane from 2009 may, may never be found. George Os Osborne will be using his budget money to create a new £1 coin. 
and UK police seek an intruder related to the Madeleine case. An American scientist has stated that the Air France plane that crashed in 2009 may never be found as time is running out. Colleen Keller, who helped, ser who helped search for the plane in the Atlantic Ocean, said identifying the search area is a major challenge. She states that doing the same for the Malaysian airliner is dwindling. Today is budget day and George Osborne stated he will be using his budget to introduce a new design for the £1 coin. The design will have 12 sides to it to resemble the three penny bit. It's said that the new coin will be aimed to stamp out forgeries and counterfeits. This coin will be introduced in 2017. Police in Britain who are investigating the disappearance of Madeleine McCain are seeking an intruder who se sexually abused five girls in Portugal from around 2004 and 2006. The man described to have dark hair and is suspected to have broken into 12 properties from 2004 and 2010. Madeleine was only three years old when she went missing in 2007. Now you are up to date on the Spy Radio, it's 1.27 and it's, here's a, just a quick reminder of our competition. If you want to win the um, AM radio, all you have to do is answer the question, who wrote Frankenstein? A. P.C. Travers, A. B. Um, Franken Bram Stoker, or C. Mary Shelley. If you want to win this radio, go onto our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash aspire competition. That's facebook.com forward slash aspire competition and answer A, B or C in the comment box below. Now you're up to date, now back to Anya and John. Uh, thank you, Rebecca. Um, now, it's time for a, de a debate. Uh, I honestly don't know how this is going to go, but it's worth a shot, isn't it? Alright then, it's a simple question, and for me, an easy answer. But what does Rebecca and Anya think? In the red corner, we have Rebecca, who prefers cats. Yay. And in the blue corner, we have Anya, who prefers dogs. Yeah. The question, of course, is cats versus dogs. Now, ladies, this is a cat fight. The viewers want a dog-eat-dog -dog attitude from you, so don't disappoint. Rebecca, you can start. Why are cats better than dogs? easy because cats are so cute they have like cute little whiskers and everything they have like these cute little ears and they like have like cute <coughs> little tails and they're such cute pets going no 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 you know no those are so much better you have like human's best friend it's like obvious that those are better oh yeah but they don't make cute noises as a cat mate it's going meow meow but you can do and like they're so cute and they have like these beautiful eyes well, cats have beautiful are eyes. No, they're scary. No, are they scary? Just because yeah. they hear the bed go, doesn't mean no. they're scary. I think they are, and they're biting. No, dogs but, oh. tend to bite sometimes. Duh, huh? Yeah, <laughs> but still, the cat is... Yeah, the dog is much better, I think. Well, I think a kitty is much better. On the, and only that, they're no. so adorable and cuddly. <laughs> a puppy, they're so cute. You can't, like, say a cat is better than puppy. puppy. Well, I think a kitty is better than a puppy. They're so cute and fluffy. They go, nah, nah. I'm really high pitched voice. I can't do that high. <laughs> but Have you, you ever know. had a cat? Uh, no. Have you ever had a dog? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, I have had both. Uh, mostly dogs, though. Have one cat, and now we're having a cat and a dog. So. Ah, if you're having a cat, where do you get cats if you want a cat? Well, I don't want a cat. My like, it's the host family I'm living it with. Ah, that cat. makes that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's always like in a room peeing and stuff, and yeah, it's annoying. So <laughs> cats, do, cats do that, and dogs yeah, tend to do that as well. Is. One time we were looking after a dog, and it peed on my mother's bed. Well, still, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, carry on. We've got five minutes of this. <laughs> we know that. Okay, why else are cats so adorable? You just want to put them up in your pocket and just like cuddle them for the rest of your life? They even have toys on kitties, okay. for God's sake. Yeah, but they have that for dogs as well. And why do you think they make like hundreds of videos and movies like about dogs and not cats? They've done the same for cats. There is a um, YouTube video I know on the internet about cats and this girl's like also tuning about kitties saying how she loves them, they're so cute and she gets upset that they don't have a home. Well, oh, still. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What What's your favourite dog, Anya? Breed. What's your favourite breed of dog? Um, Border Collie. I know what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Did I'm not really a big fan of dogs, so I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? No. Nope. Um, 
they're like black and white. <laughs> oh, so kind of like a Dalmatian, but they're not. Uh, well, they're the dogs that live on farms, like. Oh, you mean like a shepherd dog? Yeah, that's what I mean. Gotcha. Yeah, I have one of those at home. Oh, so cute. But still, it can like run off the cars and stuff because it thinks it's animals <laughs> trying to like collect them or something. <laughs> well, at least cats like to wander around. They like to wander around in gardens and like. But they always think... sleep. They sleep like all day, like t over twelve hours. They like nocturnal animals. That's the, kind of the main thing. Just like the tigers. But yeah, but why do you want to have a cat? It's always outside and... It's yeah. a free animal! <laughs> That's true, but... Yes. Okay, one final point, Rebecca. Why are cats better than dogs? Because they're cute and they make cute kitty faces and there have been so many references like the Nyan Cat, the Nyan Cat Auto-Tune. Uh, you can cosplay as little kittens going, Nyan! Nyan! Okay, Anya, <laughs> one p final point from you. Why are dogs better than cats? There's like, no one point. There's all the points, like, dog beats cats and everything, from my point of view. Can you give us an example? Um, they're much nicer. They... <laughs> no, it's just cuter, <laughs> I think. Yeah, okay. Um, if you have an opinion, you could let us know if you think cats are better than dogs or the other way around. Um, after that debate, we can only play one song I think you probably know what it is. <laughs> 